All right, so let's start building this bot for HelloFresh to help them automate their frequently asked questions. We're gonna start in the welcome message, which is like the homepage of the bot. It's gonna be the very first message that new users interacting with it are going to see. So let's start by clicking the text element here and just greeting the user by their first name and asking if they need any help. So we'll start by saying hi, we'll type in the two open brackets to customize the message with their first name. So hi, first name, this information comes from Facebook, we don't need to ask them for it. And we'll say, how can we help you today? Perfect. Now let's list out the top frequently asked questions that we want users to ask. And there's a couple ways to do this. You could either use the quick replies here. With those, you're limited to 11 questions. Or you could use the gallery card, which will give you more visuals. It's a visual and interactive carousel that users can scroll through. But with that option, you're limited to 10 questions. Now, fear not, though, if you want to ask many more questions, that's fine. You can do that. It just involves creating broader menu categories and then submenus within that. So, for example, on this welcome message, we could, instead of just listing out all the questions themselves, we could list out categories such as pricing or shipping information, any sort of details like that. And then within each of those categories, we list out the more specific and detailed questions. But in this case, we're going to keep it simple and just ask the questions right up front. To do that, I'm gonna click the quick reply here and let's ask three key questions. Uh, what does it cost? Question about pricing. Are you organic? A question about nutrition and give me a discount. Not so much a question rather than a command. So we have these main questions here and then we wanna link each of them to a corresponding answer which will be in another block. So I'll just do one of these, such as are you organic? I'll create a block here called organic, and we'll include the answer on that block. Great. I'll rename this group FAQs. This is just for my own organization. It doesn't affect the user experience. On this organic block, then, I'll include the answer to this question that the user is asking. So I'll say some, but not all, of our ingredients are organic. Cool, so it seems simple enough, right? We have the questions listed out, people click one of those questions, they get their answer. Now, we have a couple other options here as well. If we want to give the user some more control and be able to go back and ask other questions, we can use either a button or a quick reply here and say something like back to menu, and we could link them back to that welcome message where we show the questions so that they have the ability to go back and ask other questions if they so choose. The more important thing to mention here, though, is the ability to use the bot as a first line of defense, which I've discussed previously, and then allowing human interaction if needed, if the bot doesn't do its job. So, for example, on this organic block, we could also include another text card and say, do you still need help? And if they say yes, meaning the question or the answer didn't answer their question, then we can link them to, for example, a live chat block that will connect them with a human representative. So if they still need help, we can link them here. And on this live chat block, we can include the live chat plugin. So I'll click that. And here, again, you have the ability to connect the user to a human agent who has more personalization, presumably more knowledge and can answer whatever question they need, offer whatever assistance they might desire. So on this live chat plugin, we have a couple options. We can, of course, customize the start and stop message. So when they initiate the live chat, this first message is what will appear when they end it or when the operator ends it. That's the message they'll see. There's also a timeout setting. So if they don't get a response in a set amount of time, then that's the message that we'll send. It'll time out and enable them to interact with the bot again, as opposed to being stuck in this uh, human interaction. And then also at the very bottom, you can set up notifications and alerts basically. So whether or not you wanna opt in to receive updates whenever a somebody has initiated a live chat with your page, these get sent through your personal Facebook account to your messenger. So if, in other words, you don't wanna constantly be monitoring the chat field dashboard here to see what conversations need assistance, then you could also get alerts and it would include a link that you can use to uh, respond to that conversation in Messenger. 
But let's go into the live chat tab here and show you how this works. So I'm gonna test this bot from my account and let's assume I have this frequently asked question. I'm wondering if the ingredients are organic. It says some but not all are and then it says, do you still need help? Well, yes, I'm gonna say this didn't answer my question so I'm gonna click yes. And as soon as I do that, it's going to initiate a live chat and you'll see here under the active folder in the live chat tab, it will show me all these conversations that require human assistance. And then of course I can go in and respond. Another piece of flexibility that we have here is called personas. It's this toggle where I could either respond as the page. So it looks like it's coming from the bot under this kind of professional persona or users, uh, Basically, customer support agents also have the ability to respond from their personal profile where instead of the page logo, for example, it'll show their personal name and profile picture for that added layer of customization and personalization. So you have that option as well. And then in these other tabs up here, you also can see conversations that were once in live chat but now closed. And then of course, you can also see conversations that are being fully automated and handled by the bot. So all you really need to know is that the active tab here are all the conversations that are in live chat and require human assistance. If you've then answered somebody's question, you can also click leave and stop live chat and that will terminate the conversation. The user will go back into the fully automated bot conversation. So that is how the live chat works in a nutshell and that's also how you can automate frequently asked questions in chat fuel. Hopefully that helps and I'll see you in the next lesson.